Well, from one world champion to two more, we go into qualification match 54 with what we must consider a certified banger of a match. I can't wait to see this match. On the red side of the field, we have team 1690. They had a little bit of a shaky day yesterday, but definitely ended up uh, the day on some of the best matches that they uh, had yesterday. Um, and then in, uh, in that alliance as well is 3647, the Millennium Falcons, who again have just been slow and steady this entire tournament. And rounding out the red side of the field is team 2910, Jack and the Bot. They are slow, they are extremely fast, and they are extremely accurate. One of my favorite robots at the tournament and our current number two seed. Steph, what do you got on the blue side? Well, on the blue alliance, it is just about the same amount of firepower. We've got 254, the Cheesy Poops. We've got 649, M-Set Fish. And we have 1619, Up a Creek. We have powerhouses from all over the world in this match, and it really is going to be a certified banger. With that, let's go to intros down on the field for qualification match 54. All right, everyone, this is going to be an absolutely absurd match. We've got two world champions. We have an Einstein team. We have another team who many consider to be maybe one of the best teams in the world this year, and they're all going to play here on the field. So with that, I'd like to introduce a special guest MC. We have the funny man himself, Nathan Smith, coming to the field. Hello, hello. Welcome, one and all. RSN was right. This game is a certified banger. We have some stellar teams. So without further ado, let's introduce our first team. They are out of this world. It's 1690. There, Arbit. Over here, we have a team that never takes it solo. It's team 3647. Millennium Falcon. And last on the Red Alliance, a team that likes to think outside the bot. It's team 2910. Jack in the bot. We're gonna go over the Blue Alliance. You'll never catch this team without a paddle. It's 16-19. Up a Creek Robotics. I knew something was fishy. It's team 649. M's that fish. And your host team. I'll try not to make any cheesy jokes. It's 254. They're the cheesy boots. Okay, with the thumbs up from the field, let's get this on the road. Drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go! Here we are at Chessy Champs qualification match number 54. All six robots find those pieces of cargo, dumping them into that upper hub. We have 169 and 254 facing off the last cargo up. 1690 up for two, poofed up for one. Looks like we have an advantage of 20 points, favoring the Red Alliance coming out of auto. Let's see what these teams can do in tally up to make up that difference. 254, up close and personal with the hub, lining up at 1690, picking up right behind them, dunking two more into that upper hub. 1619 over on the Blue Alliance has two as well. Our world champion looking to lock in. It is absolutely bumper cars over on that end of the field though, as 2910 lines up and in for two. Twenty nine ten finds that launch pad again at sixteen ninety grabs two more cargo. Two fifty four coming over and grabbing two as well. M set fish from Saratoga, California, locking themselves to twenty nine ten. They want to take advantage of that short robot and try and get in its way, keeping them from away from the hub. Looks like we have Millennium Falcon stalled out, turret pointed towards the audit. Let's see if they can get back online before this match ends. We still have a minute and a half or minute fifteen left. There is still plenty of time. We are currently 99 to 90, favoring the Red Alliance. 254 and 1619, showing why they've won a world championship together. An absolute scoring clinic here at Chessy Champs. 1690 getting in position. They've got that cargo. They're in position. That's up and good for the Red Alliance. It is 115 to 108. Red is in the lead. 29-10. Showing what they can do, even with such a small robot. 254 up for another, looking for those cargoes at dual side intake. They've got one. They've got two. Can they get up before the defense comes? Yes, they can. That sound means it's climbing time here at Chessie Champs, as 1690 is preventing 254 from making their way back to that hangar zone. 1690 now transitioning to climb themselves. 
Let's see who's the first up. 29, 10, 16, 90 in position. 254 in position. 1690 in position as well. It is a race to the upper hub with seven seconds left. Double traversal from red. One traversal for blue. Can 1690 get up there with one second? Looks like they're only a little bit short. These scores are unofficial, but we've only got three points separate in those two alliances. It'll come down to climbs. We'll have those scores for you in just a moment. Scores on the big screen. It'll be the Red Alliance defeating our world championship duo 167 to 159. Robo Sports Network, tell us what happened. A full ranking point match there. We are seeing some great matches here early in qualifications of this tournament. I mean, the Red Alliance in that match, they were really, uh, they started the match way ahead, um, and I'm really unfortunate when um, the Millennium Falcons seemed to die in the middle. They never gave up, even with Blue just outpacing them in cargo for the last minute of the match pulling out the win. Uh, Shana Tova to 1690, uh, who's celebrating Rosh Hashanah today, and a uh, good win for them to start the match, or start the day. Yeah, just an absolute powerful autonomous from the Red Alliance there. Blue coming into that match with a bit of a deficit with 70 to 46 coming out of autonomous, and making up that difference so fast, and just neck and neck until the end of the match. It, it's really unfortunate when the, some robots stop working, but we also have to remember these robots have played a lot of matches by now. We've gone through an entire season. This is the off season. They are at peak performance, but also at peak wear and tear. Yeah, absolutely, and this is definitely where the pit crew comes into play. They play an important role on every FRC team, um, so I can't wait to see what the Millennium Falcons look like in their next match.